Well, we're learning more about the bombing suspect who was arrested yesterday. In the uh, New York Post, they say that he was very radicalized. An ex-girlfriend who has a child with him says he was a deadbeat dad who fumed over gays, the military, and American culture. Well, there you go. Mr. He would America. speak often about Western culture and how it was different back at home. And then he started making long trips. I don't know how you don't become a member of, uh, you know, get your name on the terror list when you're spending long periods of time in Afghanistan and Pakistan. I know. It's so crazy. Because, you know, he was doing that. He spent quite a bit of time. It wasn't a week-long visit. Right. And so he came back radicalized and, uh... Great. Isn't that great? Yeah. Then, you know, married a woman from over there and mm. had another child with her and... Wowie. Got all upset about everything that goes on here. Let's put it this way. Nothing comes... Nothing good comes from a vacation to Afghanistan. Am I right, Robin? <laughs> not a long one. No, not even a there, short one. No, when you're there for 14 months, yeah. you're up to something. Yeah, no one would, like, why would you be there 14 months? <laughs> it's, uh, that's something to look into. Uh, I'll cut you some slack on a layover flight, but that's it. Nobody goes to Afghanistan, unless you're up to shenanigans. Maybe I should be a police commissioner or something. I'm pretty good at identifying who's up to this shit. <laughs> Thinking of pulling over on old me. Well, we, we definitely need some help in that area. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, uh, Donald Trump weighed in on uh, what happened over the weekend. Mm -hmm. And he says that uh, it's the result of our immigration policy, our lax immigration policy. Here is, uh, I think I pulled. Yeah, you got it. Here it is. We have seen how failures to screen yes. who is entering the United States puts all of our citizens, everyone in this room, at danger. I like it better when Trump speaks off the cuff. You know what I mean? I know. When he starts staying on his script... Boring. Yeah. I like when he just talks. It's more fun. And you can always tell when he's on script, on on message, as they say, yeah. because his head is down. Right. He's busy reading. <laughs> he's busy looking at every word. Right. So, uh, yeah, he he's very upset about yesterday, and he's claiming that he could end this problem, that these kind of situations won't happen when he is president. I don't know that that's really possible, but I guess as a politician, he feels it's incumbent upon him to say that. He's also getting a lot of heat today because of a tweet that his oldest son sent out.